Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, give me a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. It means a lot to me. If you have donated to my channel in any way, thank you. If you have purchased a personal reading from me, it's been my pleasure getting to know you. If you would like a personal read, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. You can message me or you can email me, but please do not get scammed. Scammers are trying to be me on many different platforms. <clears throat> Y'all, I have Scorpio Priestess 222, Scorpio Priestess Tarot, Scorpio Priestess 9 on Insta. So please do not get scammed. They are my only accounts. Um, if somebody approaches you about a reading, it is not me. So let's hop into this right now. I have a message here from my babies just for you. But today we are going to do what is the truth? What is the truth behind how this person is acting? What are they hiding? And uh, we got the old homemade deck out today, baby. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. But first, a message for y'all. Commanding performance, renewing your promises. So I do have a few places highlighted. We're not going to read all of it because it, there, this is a long one. But you are here to remember your promises you made to yourself, your family, and the world. You must be able to work with others without judging them. Be tolerant and forgiving. No one and nothing is perfect. Your life will change when you understand that we all grow and mature together, spiritually and emotionally. Your resources, the seagull, will do what it needs to survive and to triumph. It must go outside its comfort zone into new territory. Do you hear me, Scorpio? You got to get out there into new territory, y'all. For you to advance, you have to step away from your comfort norm and embrace resources and opportunities that you may otherwise resist. Break out of the same old boring, mindless routines. Don't play it safe. It's time to do things that warm your heart and ignite your passions. When Mars comes into your life, it is time to let go of something that is no longer serving you. This means releasing any physical and emotional baggages that might hold you back. Go through your home, declutter, throw out one thing a day. Do the same with negative self-talk. Let go of any daily critical thoughts littering your mind and replace them with forgiving and loving ones. Um, you may have forgotten your true calling, but not for long. Connect with your heart and see your spiritual amnesia clear. Allow the lucky ladybug to give you the energy throughout this process. Always remember your navigational system is your intuition. And when you let your higher self be captain, you will always stay on course. I love this. I don't think I've ever pulled this in the, all the time that I've had this Jack commanding presence. And you absolutely have a commanding presence. Your guides are with you as well, Scorpio. The affirmation here is, it is exciting to be a part of my spiritual, physical, and emotional evolution. I embrace every molecule of change. It is exciting. It is so exciting. Some of you are waking up to your spiritual gifts. You're waking up to who you are. You're letting go of the old. You're embracing the new and you're moving forward, most importantly, in getting out of your comfort zone. That is what I love, love, love. We talk about that on this channel every single day. And I hope that some of you are doing this or at least thinking about it. It is not easy. Change is not easy. But when you start really putting yourself out there, y'all, I'm taking the advice as well. I'm going to start doing more when I get out, when I get moved, I'm going to start going out again. Um, you know, going to do things. I'm not going to isolate myself so much. Um, because of my, my spiritual gifts, it's very hard for me to be around a lot of people. It's hard for me to be out and about, but there are things I can do like hike and go out in nature. And I'm, I'm want to join like a hiking group or something like that, like where I can interact with people. So 
even if it's little things like that, you don't have to necessarily go out and start being um, buck wild, naked, and <laughs> dating or doing whatever. You can start doing small things, right? So try it. At least try to um, find find a new avenue of um, fun and and open yourself up. The higher vibe you're in, the more you'll be able to connect with your higher self. So the overall energy between you and your person, transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Transformation. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. So there seems to be something transform, um, transforming here in your life, in your love life. That's possibly you seeing things clearly. That's possibly your person seeing things clearly. Maybe you're both seeing things clearly, right? So um, tell me about Scorpio's person spirit. Yeah, they're really curious about what you're doing. Curiosity. They want to know what you're doing. They want to know who you're doing it with. They want to know if you're bonding, if you're getting to know somebody new. For some of you, this person uh, may message you like, um, you know, who are you dating these days or um, what are you, you know, you know, who are you effing these days I, or something like this, right, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, he, they feel that there are um, differences in compatibility, conflict, that you all clash. They, I, evidently here, you obviously had a lot of arguments towards the end or there's something that they feel you're not compatible in with one another. Um, but open heart, vulnerability, receptive. They do feel that you are very um, vulnerable with them, that you're very soft with them, that you have opened yourself up to them. You obviously expressed um, your love for this person many times. You told them, yeah, but they're very prideful. They're very egotistical, right? You could be dealing with a Leo for some of you, but this person is stubborn very, very stubborn. You have some kind of telepathy with them, though. You have some sort of inner knowing, right? Your intuition is banging. This person could be almost preparing here to um, come in and chase you until they win. But please keep in mind, for a lot of you, that's what it is, is they want to win, okay? It's, it's not that they don't love you, but are they healed? Have they done the work, guys? That's what you need to be asking yourself. Because for a lot of you, this person, you're going to get an unexpected message about them wanting to make an amends of some argument they had, y'all had together. But the thing is, is they're doing it because they don't want you to date. They're curious on what you're doing. Are you dating somebody else? Are you... Also, the other thing is I'm getting, thank you, Spirit, is if... Um, if you've been doing a lot of work on yourself, you've been doing a lot of transforming. This person um, wants to know uh, they, it, what you're you know, up to because they can tell that you're transforming. They also are making comparisons between you and possibly a third party or they're making comparisons on, um, you know, I did this, Scorpio did that. I did this, um, you know, but Scorpio did that. Like, you know, I may have done this, but you did that kind of thing. For a lot of you, though, this person is unfairly making comparisons between you and a third party, right? They are, um, they've retreated, but they've retreated here out of fear of getting hurt. They've retreated because they um, could have felt like you were getting too close. They could have actually um, had some past trauma, okay? Most of the time, that is the case, y'all. This is just an unhealed person. This is somebody who is still hanging on to a lot of past trauma from a relationship or from um, childhood. Even if they're 60 years old, some people, ling it lingers inside of them. If you do not deal with a trauma or you don't deal with um, some you know, pain, it will feel like the same exact day it happened every day, even if it was 20 years ago. Um, that is how our mind processes because um, understand that that time is a construct. It's not real. Um, so if this person has not dealt with any of the pain from their childhood or dealt with any inner child issues, they're still dealing with past trauma here. They're also trying to play the victim. For a lot of you, this person is saying seriously, like I did this because Scorpio did that or 
Scorpio said this, so I did this, right? So they are doing this. They have, um, they're, they're just in this victim mentality. For a lot of you, you were always afraid this person was going to cheat. It was like always, there was always something going on with passion. Yeah, this person was, you could have felt like they had a problem for some of you. I don't know why I'm getting that. But, and again, we're both wrong. There's something here. This person feels that you all, um, that they did because you did, right? That's, it's like tit for tat, chaser, here I come. Music. So there, there could be a song. There could be some kind of music um, that they're listening to, a certain song, or if you all went to a concert together or um, something like that, right? Something like that. Some of you could just get a song. They could just simply out of the blue, unexpectedly send you some song like um, that reminds them of you or some song that you all used to love or, you know, listen to together or your wedding song, possibly something like that. But they have dark desires and a lot of regret. This person is in a lot of regret, but they have a lot of darkness around them. They could be bisexual. You could be. They could be dealing with somebody who is bisexual um, that wants to physically fight you. I, I, for some of you, there is a third party in the mix who literally has... Um, threatened to beat you up, who has said they were going to come in and fight you like a uh, heathen, right? Like, I'm going to fuck you up, Scorpio. I'm coming to fuck you up. Or maybe you said that to a third party, man. We've all been there. I've been there in my life, right? Especially when something becomes so toxic. So um, somebody here wants to physically fight the other person. Um, for a lot of you, it is the third party, but this person wants to taste you. They want to taste your lips. They want to taste your body. They miss you. They miss you passionately. Um, and a, somebody here could have been abused in childhood. Um, either you or your person or both, right? You, you both could have dealt with some kind of abuse. I feel that a lot of you, your person could have dealt with sexual abuse, physical abuse, abuse a lot of abuse and this is why they've dealt with so much past trauma but it's time to deal with it and you can't save somebody who doesn't want to save their self baby so if this person is just you know oh my childhood was so bad or i do this because i was abused or i do that's an excuse yeah, that's an excuse i i had a bad childhood too no i wasn't sexually abused thank goodness, but I was abused in other ways, right? So um, you, you work yourself through it. It took me many years, but I worked my way through it. And um, for anybody out there who is dealing with, with things that have happened to, in their childhood, it is hard, but it is definitely possible to get out of that um, programming to get yourself out of that. So this person here doesn't really have any excuses in my book because I, I feel that saying you were abused as a child is just an excuse to not want to um, own up to your actions. This person, again, is so curious about you here, second time. And Scorp, you're about to receive some really good karma, baby. Really, really good karma, sweethearts. You are yeah, some third party could be buying them things. And this person is miserable. They barely, they can't handle the misery anymore. This person can't handle um, where they are right now in life. They can't handle being so miserable. They could be with somebody that is miserable. They could be with a third party who's always trying to fight with them about you, who's always running their fucking mouth, who's always saying things, right, because they're intimidated by you. You could have gained some weight through this. Your person could have. A third party could have gained some weight here um, because of all the stress. And I feel like your person initially was just looking for fun. For some of you, this person was just looking for fun with a third party, but something ha got deeper. For others, this person was just looking for fun with you. But this partnership is going to be very helpful. And let go and let God, right? Let go and let your God, your spirit, your, your, I'm not passing my religion, so I don't need anybody to comment that. Let go and let the universe, okay? This person could be dealing with legal issues. Um, somebody here could be a stripper, either you or them, and they are watching you all the fucking time. They are watching you all the time. This person here needs to sit down. A uh, third party could have went off birth control. Um, 
trying to trap your person or, uh, you know, take, put that where it resonates, but they do feel pulled to you. They really do. Somebody here could almost be homeless, like, uh, or they will be homeless if they would leave a third party. They um, possibly will have nowhere to go. So that's why they stay. For a lot of you, that's the case. For some of you, this person, y'all all, um, recorded you, why y'all were having sex. You recorded a video and they're watching it all the time. If you've made some recordings of you being intimate, they're watching it a lot. Um, and, and a third party is threatening to tell you something. This third party here is, is not right in the head. They are threatening to tell you something. They want to fight you. Your person saying they sorry, sorry that they pushed you away. A lot of things have been said behind your back. They have date, fake dating profiles here. They're trying to um, see what you're doing. Again, they are so curious about you. But most of all, your person does not know who they are. Scorp. This person has lost their self in all of this. They possibly have never known their self and they can't face you. They cannot face you right now. All of the things that have happened, they're so humiliated. Um, yeah, they're sucking. So the third party seems to be sucking your person dry, whether that is financially, energetically, or in, in some facet, they are sucking your person dry here. I feel like your person made a very big mistake, but be out of pride, out of not being able to look you in the face, out of playing the victim, they have not came in and told you this, right? So there's a lot going on there, but something is transforming between you all. A lot is about to transform. So um, for a lot of you, you will be able to revisit this. For a lot of you, you will be able to have the long conversation that you have been wanting to because this person does not want to lose you but they don't seem to be ready they do certainly do not seem to be doing any work i mean i i hope that they do because this person has a lot of past unresolved issues and i and i my heart goes out to them but they have got to start working on this right the thought of you with anyone else drives me crazy i try not to think about that see y'all your girl here when I say something, it's because I'm guided to, right? So this person here can't stand to think about you with somebody else. They are so curious about what you're doing. For a lot of you, you may get a message asking you who you're fucking these days or something cocky like that. Like, oh, who's, you know, D are you on or, or something really, um, you know, like trying to act cool, but really they can't stand to think of you with somebody else. I realize what I did was wrong and I can feel your energy even though we're apart. You know, um, that's a very deep connection when you can feel a person and they're not in the room, you can still feel their spirit with you. You can still feel them. If you're finding yourself having conversations with this person out of the blue, you're just starting to say things. Um, it's because uh, in the 5D, energetically, you all are communicating in some way. We have, um, I can feel you when you're not in the room, and we have telepathy here. So there's a lot going on in the 5D. Yeah, a lot of healing. This person, this could be an Aquarius, but in a very player-ass energy, right? Knight of Wands energy. There's some truth that has not been spoken. Um, it burdens the hell out of them. It really makes them feel burdened. I love my re my regular writer way. I love the energy that comes out of this deck. Um, this person here is very burdened, as well as not speaking their truth. Okay, there's something that they're preventing. They're trying to prevent from coming out. They possibly are in a connection with a third party. They could be already in a commitment but hanging on for dear life. They are hanging on to your energy. Four of swords. This person is, hangs on to everything. I feel they hang on to like pain and, 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 and conversations. Like they go round and round in their mind about old conversations or old things that happen. It's almost like you could hurt this person's ego so easily because they have such a big one. They're in the devil, though. Here we go with the devil mate, right? We have a devil mate coming straight out the deck here. This person um, is a soul mate and a devil energy. I feel like for a lot of you, um, yeah, it's been a very slow process. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, an Aquarius, a Taurus. Um, we have a lot of earth here, a lot of earth. 
uh, again, they could certainly be in a long-term connection right now. For some of you, this person does well for themselves. One of the reasons why their ego is so big is because they they do well for themselves. They think that they own the fucking world, that they can buy anybody. And it, but some third party is sucking them dry currently. A third party could be sucking them of all of their resources, spending all of their money in some way. I feel this person made a very big mistake. Yeah. See, 10 of cups in reverse, lots of breadcrumbing, right? So if you were in a long-term connection with them, this is definitely upside down. Death here, a ending for sure. Scorpio showing up strong in their energy. This could be a Leo. Something's about to be illuminated, sun. Okay. I don't feel happiness from this. I feel illumination. I feel something's going to be illuminated very, very soon. Um, there's some truth that this person's been trying to prevent to come from coming out. And um, very, very soon, something's going to be illuminated. What is that, spirit? What is that? Yeah, an aha moment, a realization here, illumination. <laughs> Clarifying. I'm good, guys. I'm good. Yeah, this person here is trying to be a problem solver. But this is the thing. They're up to no good. They could be an entrepreneur in a very masculine energy. Um, feeling like they're weighed down. There could be some spell work being done. So be mindful of that. There could be a third party doing spell work on this person. They could want to do spell work on you. Somebody here could be on um, medication for something that um, like an illness, maybe a sexually transmitted disease. I don't often try. I try not to, you know, I hear it all the time on YouTube, but it is what it is. I feel what I feel from this. Um, they could be on medication for something. They could have gotten on medication for anxiety. Thank you, spirit. Anxiety or um, depression as of late. They're trying to change some things around. Whatever the case is, um, whatever is about to be illuminated, it has something to do here um, with this person's uh, um, stability or lack of it, okay? This person here um, is, is, there's a secret. Oh my gosh, I hope somebody hasn't gotten pregnant. For some of you, what's going to be illuminated is this person got somebody they were supposed to just be friends with um, pregnant or they are pregnant. Now, don't, don't panic. Don't put that if it doesn't fit. Okay. For others, this person here is um, coming in to tell you that they want to start over. What's being illuminated is that they want to start over. They want to come in. The truth is they're watching you constantly. The truth is they don't know if you can overcome these obstacles and there's something going on with children. Either they are staying in a third party because of children or you have children to this person. Um, it just depends on what your story is. But this person here, there's been spiritual growth, but it's baby steps. Yeah, they could, they could have a mother, their mom could have a strong influence on them. Somebody here could be a bully. Okay, somebody here is very affluent. They have a lot of money. Third person coming straight out the deck. Third party interference. Now, for some of you, the third party is not only a lover, but a mother. Um, I'm just getting this. A lot of you, um, this person has a mom who creates obstacles, problems, who's been indifferent to you. This person here is so stubborn. They are so stubborn. They are, they're so cold and cut off. You can only see so much, right? I feel communications coming in. They want to come in and have some playful communication with you, but there's still a lot of secrets, um, a lot, right? You need to see through the facade. Secrets are about to be lifted here. There's a meditation that you can do, um, a visualization that you can do that will help you um, start seeing through secrets, start seeing through um, the facade of things. So um, you visualize a, a deep, dark, midnight blue sky with a big full moon. Visualize standing in an open field and it's just you and the moon and the stillness of it. You know, feel the stillness of the night of what it feels like to be out in a field and it's just the big moon, right? And then visualize an owl coming and sitting beside you, on you, 
um, flying around the moon. Sometimes I visualize it around the moon. A lot of the times I visualize it perched in you know, a tree staring at me. Visualize the owl and the owl's eyes and just sit with it, you know, for 10 minutes, really visualizing the owl, um, the moon, the feeling of the air, the feelings that you're getting. And this, if you continue, you know, continue to do this for a few nights, Scorpio, you are going to start finding that a lot of things, a lot of secrets that have been, a lot of things hidden from you will, will start coming to the surface. Either your guides will tell you, you'll all of a sudden have an epiphany and you'll say, oh my gosh, that's what was going on. Or it will actually be shown to you, shown to you by this person or shown to you um, by another person, or you'll see something online. You know, you'll, you'll actually in the 3D see it. For a lot of you, um, something is about to come out here. There is something breaking down in this person's life. I feel for some of you, a third party could have been doing spell work and um, uh, to keep this person here. A lot of you, this person's dealing with domestic affairs. You could be dealing with child support issues with this person or court issues. They could be with a third party. They could be going through a divorce or thinking about it. This person um, wants to come in here and be uh, loyal to you. For a lot of you, this this person has pulled back their energy because they are protecting you from a third party who is playing the victim. A third party could be um, wanting to fight you, acting a fool. So this person has pulled their energy back because they don't want you to be involved with this, whatever is going on. And we do have fate, karma, yes, a breakthrough, Leo energy, Taurus energy again coming out here. So um, I would say for in the next four days to four months. It just depends on where you are in the timeline. Whatever you need to see is going to be illuminated, Scorp, and um, you're going to have a, a minute to, oh my goodness, talk to this person. These cards just exploded. Um, you're going to have a minute to talk to this devil mate, right? Because they want to know who you're with. They're afraid. The, the thought of you being with somebody else is like, overwhelming them is actually a, a, about to overtake their pride. So the thought of you being with somebody else is going to be out their pride and their ego. This person needs to go through an ego death and they need to release an ex or you need to release this person. But most of all, you deserve love and you deserve to be loved 100%. Um, but again, heart to heart conversation definitely coming in here for a lot of you. They're, they're going to want to retreat with you. They're going to want to disconnect. But the time has come for you to clear your energy. Clear your energy nevertheless. Clear your energy because I feel there's some kind of, at the very least, lack being spoke on your life. Something like, I hate that bitch. I hope they die being spoke on your life by a third party. So please clear your energy. Make sure you are um, being very... Uh, good about that, about saying your prayers. Meditation is a huge protection from black magic. I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day. No matter what your circumstances here, I wish you the very best. Tell yourself every day and every way, I get better and better. I am a winner. All I do is win. Love and light.